Before we begin the rest of this tutorial thing here, I just want to clear some things up. Um, I've had some comments that this isn't a 3D engine, this is just a simple rasterizer. I know it's a it's a software rasterizer and it's not even a good one at that. If you're watching this video and you're at, at this level of understanding how this process happens, you're not going to care whether it's called a 3D engine or a rasterizer. This is just absolute basics of it. What this engine is not going to do is shade or fill in polygons or you know do textures or things like that if you're saying i'm doing things wrong or there's a better way of doing it i am fully aware that there are much more efficient ways and much better ways to do things and you shouldn't recode everything you know reinvent the wheel you should just use OpenGL because they've already done everything like this for you but this isn't so you can go and create a game engine this is just to satisfy curiosity i mean why do people still ride horses when there's cars it's just an interest what i'll do from now on actually is Whenever I explain something or how we're going to do something in this engine, I'm going to tell you what they actually do in real life, and um, and that's maybe just an added extra to give more insight as to as to what's happening behind the screens. So what I'll start with is how they actually draw lines um, with a computer, and I'll begin by saying that the round function we use in Delphi, you know, where we round it off the values to make sure it goes onto the first this pixel or the other pixel is very inefficient for a computer. Rounding takes a very long time for a computer to do. And uh, that's why Bersenheim has developed a line drawing algorithm which works basically like this. They have a certain error value. And um, I'm not going to, I can't write the error value in numbers here so I'm just going to represent it by a line. I'm just going to draw a line across there and up to there. So at the bottom here this will be zero, at the top there that'll be one. So this is everything in between. What they would do is start off with the beginning point of the line. That's where the first X and Y will be. And then they go to the next X and Y. When they go to the next X, they increment the error value by the gradient of the line. So say the error value is incremented that much. Now, because it's still underneath halfway, that means it's less than 0.5, they just go on to the next value and they don't increment the Y value. But then they increase the error value a little bit more each time. So they're going to still draw a pixel over here. Actually, why don't I just use the full function? So then they increment the error value a little bit more. But it's still below half, so they fill in that pixel. Now the error value is above a half. So then the computer resets the error value to zero. And it increments the Y value. Now the pixel is going to be drawn there. And the process starts again. Error value gets incremented a bit, still underneath. So each time they increment their x value, they increase the error value with the gradient of the line. And whenever the error value gets past 0.5, they reset the error value and they increment the y value. And what this does is they avoid any rounding functions. They avoid um, they avoid the unnecessary calculation of the c value. And it's a very it's a much more efficient way of drawing a line. But I chose the other way because I know uh, a lot of people have done that way on, at school and there's no other method of thinking needed for them to draw a line than that one. So if you really want to make your engine efficient um, and you want me to do a tutorial on how to make a simple Bersenheim's line drawing algorithm instead of the line that we did last time, uh, I'll do it with pleasure. But currently I don't see a need for it for our engine. But first of all, all our line drawing was done in the onCreate of Delphi and for us to be able to call that function over and over to draw several lines we have to put it into our own function we can call anywhere in the program. So what you're going to do is you're going to type this line out you're going to say procedure because it's going to be a procedure you're not going to get anything back it's an action it's going to perform we're going to call it draw line make a bracket and obviously it's going to take in an XA XB, YA, and YB, and put a semicolon, then if Delphi you can press Control shift c it'll copy that function down for you so you can start coding it. Now all that you have to do is copy the entire line drawing code from the form create, um, everything from the var down to the end, 
and you just paste it right underneath this procedure. I've already copied it, so I'm just going to paste it over here. I actually just highlight the begin and end of this and replace all of that with the code that you had in the onCreate. So now it'll look like this. You have a procedure here that you declared called draw line. It takes in those parameters, you give it those parameters, and then it does everything that we did in the onCreate. And now all you have to do in the onCreate of Delphi is call that function. So let's quickly see if it works. We're going to say draw line and then put in brackets some values that it has to draw. So we make it 39, 200, uh, 319, and 28. And when we run this, it should. Oh, missing parameter type, sorry. Uh, real values. It should draw us a line right there. All we've done is we've now taken all that code and put it into a function, and then we just call the function on the onCreate. So, now we're going to go on to how to draw a polygon. So now that we have our entire line drawing algorithm in a function, and we know we can call the function in the onCreate, let's quickly discuss how we're going to do drawing polygons. And all of you know a polygon, well we're going to use a triangular polygon, polygons or any shape that consists of many lines that you know compacted together into whatever shape you want. We're going to use triangles. So our polygon is going to consist of three vertices. And vertices are obviously the points that indicate the end of the lines. So this one has three vertices, like I said, and three lines that make up this polygon. You have point A over here, you have point B over here, and point C. And what we're going to do, because we have a line drawing function now, is we're going to call the line drawing function for this line. Then we're going to call the line drawing function for this line. Then we're going to call the line drawing function for that line. And in effect, all our polygon drawing function is going to do is draw three lines. And that will be our draw polygon function. So it's actually very easy. Let me quickly show you. You can go back to Delphi over here. We're going to declare a new function. But before we declare our draw polygon function, I quickly have to show you um, this is one step we have to quickly add here. Up at the um, at the top here, you'll see there's a thing called type. We have to declare a new type of variable, and we're going to call it a polygon. And that is just an array one to six of real values. So we could have just declared an array down here called array polygon or something like that. But because we're going to have to enter this variable into a function and also to make other calculations and, you know, just keeping track of everything easier, we're going to declare a new type called a polygon. And like we said, there's three vertices in a polygon. So it's going to be an uh, x, y, x, y, x, y. That's why we have six values in this array. Then we have to discuss how we're going to arrange these values in this array. And that's important for later on as well, even though the computer doesn't care, it's so we can keep track of it more easily. We could always put the, all the x's first, so it'll go, it'll go x1, x2, x3, and then all the y's, y1, y2, y3. And that is the option we're going to choose, and you'll see why later. Just It'll just make other functions like translate and rotate much easier for us. We could have said, you know, have the first point completed, then you go on to the second point, then the third one, and obviously you will you can section off your your points in the array like this but that doesn't enable us to run loops to change values or something like that this is much easier so these two will be your first point these two will be your second point and these two will be your third point so now we have declared a polygon we're going to go down to our declarations here under private we're going to say procedure draw polygon and we're going to call the variable it's going to take in, poly in, and it's going to be a polygon. And so that's the same as saying xa, xb, and those are all real values. All we've said is we're going to give you a variable called poly in, and that is a polygon, which is the array that we declared up top here. Now for Delphi, all you have to do is go to the end of the declaration, press Control shift c that copies that whole thing down for you so you can start working on the function. And now we quickly have to write down the order of drawing the lines. Um, let's just quickly say draw line and that's obviously using the function we just wrote. 
then it wants the first x of the line that is going to draw the second x and so on. So obviously we have x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So our first line is going to be from the first x in the array to the second x in the array. It's going to be typed in the draw line and it obviously wants uh, the first x and the second x. So this is going to be poly in, poly in, which is our variable over there. Poly in is an array. So because it's an array, we're going to say square bracket one. Then the function wants the second x value, which is obviously just poly in number two, poly in two. And then it wants the first y, which is obviously now from 4, 5, and 6 in the array because we said all our y's is lost. So this will be poly in 4 and poly in 5. And that'll draw the first line of our draw polygon function. Now we need to draw the other two. So just for speed sake, I'm going to copy and paste this. And we're just going to change the values. And we just quickly draw an array here of how our values are going to look. Um, it's going to be divided into six parts, so this will be three, four, five, six. These are all the x values, these are all the y values in the array, and the order goes one, two, oops, three. One, two, three. Now we've drawn a line from one to two, so in other words, using these as the points. Now we have to draw a line from two to three. So we're going to have to enter array value number 2 and array value number 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3, and 6. Just quickly enter those. So this, I said, will be 2, and 3, and 5, and 6. There you go. Then our last line will obviously be from the first value to the third value again. So this will be these lines, 1 and 1, and 3 and 3. So enter those over here, this will be, this is fine, it's 1, and this has to be changed to 3. This is 4, that's fine, this has to be changed to 6. Let's try this quickly. We first have to quickly declare a test polygon, something, just a, just a variable we can spell, you know, spell around with. We're going to say test poly. Oh, I already wrote it there, don't worry. Um, yeah, test poly is a polygon. And then on the onCreate, we're just going to give test poly a few values. I've already written it here. The x values, 1, 2, 3, is 220, 260, 280. Y values are these over here. And then let's quickly call the function draw poly. So we're going to say draw polygon. And we're going to draw the polygon called test poly. There you go. Let's see if this works. And there you go. It has drawn a polygon right there for us. So now that we know how to draw a polygon, what it's going to do is, you know, just draw three lines for us. We're going to work on translating the polygon, which will be our first transformation function we're going to write for this polygon.